all right it, it's now the next day it's friday um i don't think i got enough content at the rwb event last night uh i was just talking to people you know getting to know the whole rwb family so that was cool uh but that kind of resulted in me not getting enough content so we're gonna continue with the video today because today is the day we are going to tokyo auto salon today's gonna be a pretty jam-packed full day um we got the press pass luckily um so getting it early hopefully um seeing all the stuff meeting up with people and then at night there's a couple of night meets going on friday night tokyo auto salon it's gonna be nuts so we're gonna see what we run into um hopefully i can capture it all but uh yeah we'll see so let's keep it rolling all right we are here uh making our way into the entrance now but uh this is gonna be a lot of cars I already saw kind of sneak peeks of a lot of cars there today and uh there's some crazy stuff so uh, i'm excited there's a veil fly here with the new 400z crazy as everything else they make pretty cool over here we got a couple hiaces land cruiser i think i don't know Laws of Spirit is out here. They brought out a couple of the Super Tycoon cars. Got this one, the Debio, a couple of X5s, but pretty cool stuff. Love to see the, the actual manufacturers here as well, and not just the aftermarket brands. Voltex came out here with the GR, I think it's a GR86. There's a GRZ. GR86, T37s, ARP brakes, a bunch of display fish and wings, so again, attached onto this car very very nice oh and their body kit as well very very nicely done all right we got d max here they brought two of their comp cars uh this one's a g1 d1 car they both have d1 cars but um yeah super cool try not to go over there to buy car parts right now because they have a roof spoiler that i want from s14 but it's okay this seems like keeping me distracted and style came out with Nalki's car. Nalki's right there, but this thing, gangster. Oh, no, there he is, right there. Let's see if we can zoom in on him. There he is. But super gangster car. Love it. Absolutely perfect. Valino Tire brought out a couple interesting cars. We got an FD, FD3S, full time attack, carbon fiber everywhere. Um, D1 Lights car and a D1 Comp car. I think this is the one we saw at Nismo Festival, if we're not mistaken. This one we haven't seen yet. This this is also another one of uh, Naoki's cars, but god damn. He goes all out on these things. I love it. This is the type of stuff I love to see. Look at this. Full rally car as a team. Looks absolutely gangster. Up here in turbos. Real deal right here. Absolutely love this thing. Oido and his booth brought out a couple cars. Brought the new Z, or fairly Z, we should call it, G86 and a Supra. Very good, very clean examples of all, especially the S30. What wheels are you running on this? I've seen wheels, I haven't seen those yet, but good trio right here. This is interesting. They want it in dual circle lights instead of the regular, you know, normal BRZ lights. This is interesting to see on this car. I haven't thought of it, but I gotta say, it doesn't look bad, but I don't know if I'm keen with it yet. But it's cool to see that people are, you know, trying out new ideas on different cars. Now this is the car I've been wanting to see. This is a Toyota Sport S800, I think. But this is Taniguchi's car. This thing is gangster because I think it has a 4AG or something, some crazy 4AG in it. And he's driven around Scuba once. There's a video on it on YouTube. Absolutely love this thing. It sits right. It sounds good. It's just perfect. You don't see too many of these cars modified, so it's being, it's it, being it seen done like this is super cool. Tokyo Auto Salon is also known as the event where all the middle aged men take pictures of women in front of random cars. And it's kind of creepy, but you know what? That's fine. I don't do that. What the heck is this? Okay, well, screw the woman. Is this a suicide door on a Challenger? I love it and I hate it at the same time. This is uh, interesting to say at least. It looks like something out of a video game or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that. Garage Marines here. 
with an S15 swaps with the 2J, a turbo single, all that good stuff. Just about every single comp S15 out here. S13 makes me interested and in, I like this car better. Full type X kit with SR20, single turbo, D-Max manifold. Don't know what manifold that is. Or exhaust manifold, I don't know what intake manifold it is, but absolute beauty of a car. Again, type X side skirts, spats, tail lights, wing, perfect. All right, well that's the other whole, this whole split with the other convention called like Tokyo Outdoor Show or something, so. That's the end of this haul, time to go on to the next one. Oh boy, here we go. We got... Let's see. God damn it. So need another one, one day. Here's a pandem section. We got that thing they announced, this thing announced, this thing they announced, and this one's got SEMA, I think. Well, not this car, but this body kit. So, uh, bringing out a bunch of iterations of different cars, it's pretty cool to see. Um, this Pony looks pretty damn good. This is gonna bring an interesting uh, market value for these uh, Mustangs because you know, right now in the US, they're not that valuable. But once you start doing this stuff, people might start wanting them. So I'm interested to see what a market goes for these cars. Look at the paint job on this thing. God damn. It's even like this purple. It's got a lot more detail when you look into it. But I like this. Do I like the style of the cars? No, but I can definitely appreciate the effort and the craftsmanship to do this, because this is nuts. Look at that. Absolutely crazy. Cody Dolls has another car here. This uh, Mark IV Supra is at the Project Mew booth. I mean, Project Mew Brakes, obviously. But it's cool to see this thing in person after seeing it on video so many times. It's cool to see. This is a new R35 announced for 2024. I mean, not really that much different from the other ones, but hey ho. Top Seeker came out here. They got their R32 with the VR32 in it. Insane. They got, they got their 33. Over there, they have a couple R35s, and then we'll go around and then we will show you the new Z they have brought. If we can get past all these people. <laughs> Boom. There it is. Yep. Gold. Z, that's a new one they have made. So this thing is bonkers. It's like a drag car, except it's got like a gigantic splitter in the front and then the gigantic splitter in the rear. But these also are the same guys. If you watched the Nismo video, I did the last one. Uh, twin turbo, R35. Looks like it came from Texas and they brought the R34, which is also at Nismo Festival as well. So you see these two and you start to understand. Are those side pipes on the Z? I dig it. I like it. Voltec brought a 32 with their new screen inside. Very cool. Got obviously all Motec systems. And then a bonkers. I don't know if this is an RB26 anymore. Jagadis Turbo. Planet Manifold. Very nice. Look at the amount of detail. This is absurd. I love it. And then this hollow. Damn. It's a lot of work. That's just amazing. I can't imagine how much effort and time just went into this thing, but boom. Rohan killed it. It's kind of cool to see. 34, endless livery. Don't know if this is one of the fishing parts, but that's good. Tenza brought out this gangster car. You guys know what this is. You really don't need an explanation, but it's awesome to see that, you know, some brands still bring out the old cars that people love to see. So that's cool. And this is interesting. This is a GR Corolla, which Japan technically doesn't get for the US market, but you know, being Cusco and Potenza, they have them. So that's cool to see. That's the second GR Corolla I've seen in person. They also brought out this beauty. Bill. Yes, doing it right. This is one of the cars I've been dying to see. This is Cusco's iteration of a 22B GCA. And to say the least, super clean, and good spec, two door perfection. This thing looks amazing. It's just 
love to see the flares. It is the way these cars should be done. Clean EK. Very nicely done. Caged bucket seats. B series. ITB B series. Even better. This thing's gangster. Here. Very clean. Absolutely love it. We have 326 power here. 400Z. S14 with the S15 front end and S14. These both have the S14 tail lights. Look absurd. The Z is absolutely bonkers. Then we come over here. We have a couple retired pro, or not pro, but GC8. 22, this 22B style for sure. I don't know if this might be a real one. I don't know. But Gangster. Gangster. So this is a bonkers this is a dually veil slide pickup notice doesn't exist but it's weird look at i can't even fit this thing in one frame that's how wide this thing is nuts that is one long ass truck this is also interesting i think this is an N it's an nd but they molded an rx3 body onto it interesting to say the least also there's that thing in one frame. That's nuts. And there is a new Type R race car. That thing looks nuts. Holy crap. I like this slammed high ace with the bike in it. That's gangster. And we also got a, uh, what do you call this? Sylvia front end on a Sil 80. We have a Sil 80 here. Have the tail lights. You go up front. You got Sylvia front end with brakes. This is the right setup right here. This is what looks good. This is the new Pandem kit for the S13 coupe. I mean, not coupe, hatch. Interesting front bumper, you gotta say. But uh, I like how they kind of retained the rear bumper this time, so they just completely taken it off. And how the duck tail has an extension on it. Very nice touch. This one also has a side exit right there. Nice. This is a joke, right? They really use this as a display. Jesus. This is what you guys have all been waiting for. Liberty Walk is here. They brought a Sunny, which looks gangster. R35 silhouette. Uh, I forgot what that thing is called. To be honest. Uh, we got S15, a rip drift car. I think this is a four rotor one. This one's got a four rotor rotor engine in it. Um, over here, we got something under the covers. And it looks absolutely bonkers. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Oh, this is the F40. This is the F40. It's got a humongous wing in the back. Uh, I'm excited to see that. Then we come over here, and there is a silhouette FD, which that thing looks gangster as well. Super cool to see. I think the engine bay is all done up in it as well. Boom! Look at that engine bay. Gangster. Here's also the rest of the cars they have, an R35, 405A, 35 Challenge, C8, what is this? Did they do a, an air cool? What is this? Oh, this is a different RWB prototype. We're gonna look into this a little bit more. And then over here, Huracan, no, yeah, Huracan, Aventador, 086, Hakosuka. Cool stuff. Here we have the hydrogen powered Corolla. The Toyota prototype car I want to Le Mans. Super GT car. A couple of rally cars. This is an A86 over there. Pretty cool. Uh, GR Yaris. GR Yaris. But uh, yeah, cool to see that. Toyota has a big presence here. Well, here's the Hunatron. That thing, he's probably supposed to be here as well with this thing. But we all know what happened. But Regards to say, cool to see this thing here. And uh, it's cool to see that Audi does this type of stuff still. So, cool to see. 
this is the arrow for the new GR Corolla, and I gotta say, if you get this, this is all you need. You don't need anything else. It's flared from factory, so it looks perfect. The lip, the splitter, the side skirts, everything add to the aggressiveness. And the rear is perfectly done as well. If you look at it, um, it's got rear lip, it's exhaust. It's got like two wings almost, kind of like the STIs did it back then, but nonetheless, it's super cool to see this done. So, this is a super cool car. So I think I actually called this thing a Huracan earlier, but this is actually a Mercy Elgo. It's pretty cool to see. So, to call it the Evo concept. <laughs> Yeah, this seems to be a pretty badass when it's done, so I'm excited to see this thing done. We got two 34 GTRs here. Big single, big single, Gangster Midnight Purple 2, Midnight Purple 2, Bayside Blue, Gangster. This one's got Underglow. I believe this one's an LM GT, don't quote me on what one is. Four, three, I don't know. T37s, both clean examples. This one especially, this Midnight Purple one's gold, bro. So. Looks perfect. Amamiya is also here. We got their FD. I think this is another FD under the cover that they're gonna announce pretty soon. And uh, the R RXA. <laughs> R RXA over here as well. FC. Uh, oh, this is the interesting card. So this is an ND, but. It's got rotary in it, and the outside is partially done by Jetstream, so this car is extremely cool. This is cool to see. So this is Amamiya's car, where he put uh, Porsche headlights in. So, it looks pretty good if you ask me. I mean, this, this similar concept on a, uh, an Amiata as well. Not Amamiya, but someone else did. It looks pretty cool, so this is cool to see. And then, if you guys remember Car Shop Glow, this car is uh, partially got parts from them. Super cool car. Look at that. Crazy. Gotta love FDs. That FC is my favorite though. That thing's got a four rotor in it. So, pretty cool. This is pretty cool to see. We got a all carbon fiber long hood here again. Seats, engine, ITVs, all carbon fiber. Nice. Team Anija came here with a P1. Pretty gangster. He also brought this full carbon, I don't know what it is, 570 is, something, I don't know. Not a supercar stuff, but look at that. Super clean. He also brought a, a Huracan GT3 car, a LaFerrari, and a Carrera GT. That's Team Anija for you. I love this thing. So this is a high ace that's been turned into, uh, it's got facelift, facelift, and a couple other things done to it to make it look like an older American van, you know, Dodge, Ford. Well, I think it's more Dodge, but What's cool is he actually put, put the uh, window on the side. Now, I'm assuming this is stuck as a panel band, but the fact that he actually cut and put a window to match the design is pretty cool. If you ask me, this is a gangster car. I absolutely love it. Another front shot right there. Boom.